Did you bring any weapons or any mace or anything like that? Or maybe even any dynamite? Um, I got maybe like I got at least forty-eight knives. You know, I'm a, I I really like knives. You know that. How are you the knives? I would have brought the knives. But I kind of did it. How about you shut up so they can't hear us? You need to calm down, okay? Just be nasty. Just calm down, okay? All we're gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Maya. I am Alana. I am Sydney. I am Emma. And we, we are, are reporting live on our program, Fox News. There has been a unicorn sighting. A unicorn, unicorn sighting. sighting. The unicorn sighting is true. No, it's obviously a hoax. We have proof. Okay, show us. Uh, okay. <laughs> Show them. <laughs> okay. All right. um, not only one person said it, there has been many. Yeah, and it's on video. But, you know. So yeah, it's been on video, so we have proof that it does exist. It's our word against yours. Our word against yours. This <laughs> Um, I don't believe it whatsoever, so mm -hmm. I don't believe that there are has, unicorn sightings. There has been a lot of sightings, it's not just in one place. Um, can you name the states that they have been sighted? Like Michigan. Uh, Michigan, Montana, uh, Seattle, we, but that's in Washington. We, <laughs> Washington, <laughs> um, Idaho. Okay. And Mexico. There too. They most they mostly hang out in uh, grassy fields and yeah. like plains. Yeah. yeah. 
and um there was a video where they were chasing one Can, uh which video is the one that you're most interested about we're interested in the one in like michigan or mexico the, or the one, one in, in washington the one in the, montana yeah the one in montana that was the best one because um, it was actually flying was it in like um like in East Missoula or Missoula or all It wasn't in Missoula. It was in Montana, somewhere in Montana, but we'll get that later. Okay. So, <clears throat> where was it flying over? What was it flying over? It was flying over a car. No, a rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> Did it oh. make the rainbow? Or? So there was two sightings. One was flying over a rainbow and one was flying over a car. Hmm, cool. Okay. Um, th um, there are, have uh, been um, more than five sightings in a lot of different states other than what we have named. And okay. some were over across seas, too. In Europe. Well, I obviously don't believe that, because it's obviously fake, a hoax. So, we'll see you next time on Fox News. Have a nice day, night. <laughs> hey, night. See you next time. Yeah. Uh, Bye. Uh, Have a good Fox time. News. See you next time on Fox News. <laughs>
everything. They say that time's supposed to heal you, but I ain't do much here. How long can you hear me? I'm in California dreaming about how we used to be. Seduce for 6G? No. You will regret this. Are you sure, Timmy? No. Yes, I'm sure. Come on, Charlie. Cut it. Timmy, why do you want dog residues? I've never had dog residues in my life. Uh, Timmy, buy dog residues for 8G? Maybe. Yes or no? No. You will regret every day of your life. Okay. Would you like to buy anything? What about tenny flakes? If you give me 5G. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I'm not mind this idiot. Well, uh, would you like tenny flakes? Yes, I would. Uh, tenny flakes for 5G. Okay, so there's something you need to know about. It's called Temmy Armor. Temmy Armor is so special, you can only promise to use it on emergency. Okay. Uh, can you promise only to use Temmy Armors for only emergency? Yes. Okay, uh, well. You're not supposed to use it till you have an emergency. So I can give you a. Uh, how about if you in real troubles and need lots of help and you're losing so many battles that you get frustrations, then I'll give you Tummy Armor. Okay. Okay, I promise I'll only use Temmie armor for emergencies. Okay, good. Um, stop giving me that creepy stare. Cool now, please. Thank you. This is where you create dimensions, anything. So I can create anything? Like, do I use magic? Like, I can't create anything right here. Well, 
So, first you have to be hired to do anything like that, and then um, it's more of a designer type thing, you have to design stuff, and then you're, and then you're like a mechanic type thing, then you can create stuff. Ooh, look what I created with magic! I don't even need a job, and I have a pen. Well, technically if I want a job, that's something called magic. Look at all my co-workers co created. I have no idea how this works, and it's kind of stupid. See, it doesn't work. It says something about this box, I need these metal things put in. I just put the entire box in. Wait a second. Is this what you were playing with when I walked in? Maybe. This is a stapler and it links paper together so it's like carried around on the same thing. So you go like and it helps with homework, it helps with jobs and boring stuff too. Can you use it as a weapon? I mean, I stapled myself once and it hurt really bad. You're hired. You're a freaking genius! What do you want? What are you doing? Well, just leave me alone. I'm calling your mom. <laughs> what? You're trying to get on a train and go to Florida. Who would want to go to Florida? It's full of old people and 
weird smells and alligators. Plus, I, I don't know where, I just want to get on the train. I don't know where the train will take me, I just want to go somewhere away from I feel that, I feel that. I've been there before. But it's no reason to get on a train and go away from home. The unknown is very dangerous, you know? You not you don't control my life. You know, it's just if I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do it by myself. So don't do anything anymore. Or you come with me. I can't go with you. You know what? I, I have a life here too. I have a dog for one thing. And I can't just leave it. I don't think trains allow dogs. I guess I'm going without you. You don't know me! You, well, well, you don't know yourself! Yeah. Is she at it again? I didn't even know what goes on in her head. Is, so is it my turn next week? Yep. There's gotta be a permanent solution for this, besides her getting on the train. I don't think she's ever going to get on that train. You don't know that. She goes behind the train and when the train's moving, she hides somewhere. I don't know. We'll probably see her on Monday like we always do. Maybe we should follow her. gonna get on it anyway. Listen, we're your friends and we're here for you. Thank you. Do you wanna go to the dog park and pet some dog? Sure. Yeah! Friendship is very important. Keep your friends and make them your friends forever. Go friendship and cubs. <laughs> Hit it. I was doing just fine before I met you. I drink too much and that's an issue, but I'm okay. Hey, you tell your friends it was nice to meet them, but I hope I never see them again. I know it breaks your heart and moved to the city and I broke down driving. Four years, no calls, now you're looking pretty in a hotel bar and I, I can't stop No, I, I, I can't stop So baby, pull me closer in the backseat of your Rover That I know you can't afford Bite that tattoo on your shoulder Pull the sheets right off the corner of the mattress that you stole from your Yeah. 
seem small And the fears that once controlled me Welcome to the presidential debate. Today we, we are here with Anision and Liam. Alicio. Sorry. And Liam and. Uh, this is the third presidential debate. And we're just going to ask them certain questions and see what they respond and what they think. Let's get started. Okay. Do you want to ask the first question? Okay. <laughs> Liam, if you um, were elected, what would you do to help um, America? Hmm. <laughs> Sorry. I would definitely make, I would ban all public schools and have everyone be homeschooled. Okay. Um, Alicia, is that how you say it? Yeah. Okay, Alicia, um, if you were to become president, what would you do to help America? I would up the military, um, change the police to not shoot people that are black. Would you, uh, would you make Stop like... Stop laughing! <laughs> would you make people, would you force people to be in the military? No, it's their choice. Okay. Um, Liam, um, so, um, how would you help just a certain state with how they're getting worse or better? Hmm. I would, for some states maybe, I would raise the taxes by 10%. And why would you do that? So everybody is more poor. Okay. Alicia, what would you do to help the poor? I would help by get as much stuff to them as possible, um, allowing them to have jobs, having free schools for them, and let them basically be like everyone else. Okay. You can ask that next question. <laughs> okay, um, so, um, so, um, Liam, uh, how would you help the poor people get into a better standard? Hmm. I would make them work at McDonald's for the rest of their lives. Alright. <laughs> okay, Alicia. My father died there. <laughs> oh yeah. My clown. Would you make college free or make them pay for college? I'll leave it how, how it is because they, they want to what if they don't have money? Well, then there'll be another college that doesn't teach as much as normal to college, but will be free. Oh. Like it is already. You don't remember. I don't. <laughs> you have the same memory as me. Um, how would uh, you, what, would you give free colleges or keep them the same or higher the increase? I would make college free but treat everyone there like preschoolers. Alicia, <laughs> sorry. Alicia, would you increase the math or get rid of math at all? I'll leave it how it is. It's math. You need to learn it. <laughs> okay. um, this is kind of a question for uh, both of you. Um, how would you help the the um the schools have a better like system of working like better math um better social studies and stuff like that better textbooks i'd get rid of all the paper stuff and make everyone do stuff on computers 
and I would make the schools a lot cleaner and not have trash everywhere. And any student that does not be nice will get uh, the electric chair. Okay. What? <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's not your turn. Okay, who, Alicia, who do you think will win the pres the presidential? I don't know. It's up to the people. Right. But if you were to choose. Like, if you had the power to choose, you have to choose. You would have to choose me, coin. right? I would choose the, the person that is better than you and not as cruel and me killing obviously. kids. Me, obviously. <laughs> no, you're killing kids by putting them in the electric chair. Um, no, no. I... That's just fairness. All right, the... that's enough. Criminals get the Next question. Chair, Next, but question. We don't. Next question. <laughs> right, go. Okay. Um, how <laughs> how would you increase the schools? Um, he wouldn't system? do anything. He would just explode them all. No. How would you increase or decrease the school system? I would reinforce the rules and if there's really bad bullies, I would send them to electric a, chair. No. I'll send them to a <laughs> camp where they learn, it's basically like prison-ish, so they learn what goes on basically to other kids when you're doing that, and they basically get bullied. Um, Liam, how would you, re would you reinforce the police? Um, hmm. I'd get rid of them and bring back RoboCop. He needs more action today. Okay. <laughs> Um, um, would you just take away prisons and all, or keep them, or make them worse? Worse? What do you mean by worse? Killing like, all the prisoners and making them slaves. But you they said kill dead. all the prisoners and then make them slaves, they're already dead. <laughs> How would you do you kill that? Kill half of them as an example, and then make the others slaves for all of the prison guards. It's not your question. <laughs> I don't care. All right. I would question. reinforce the prison, like the prison rules and the people that are in the prison. And basically, yeah, make it almost inescapable so prisoners have to do their time. All right. Unless they're bailed out, <laughs> which just sucks. Okay. Um, how... Liam, what would you do to, if you were to be, would you move the White House to somewhere else in the state? Where would you move it? I'd move it to ISIS territory. What? <laughs> <laughs> if you could move the White House, where would you move it? Or if you would? Uh, I wouldn't move it. I will just reinforce, like, the people in it. I would protect. make it. Okay, Orange. this is a question for both of you. What would you name it if you renamed it? The Morbidly Obese Men House. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll just call it the Presidential House. Um, all right, it's your turn. Um, presidential Kingdom. <laughs> if you could choose just one state in the USA um, to move the White House entirely and just to help the state be better, where would you move it? Uh, I want to move the White House. <laughs> it's so safe where it is, but to help states, I would send them materials if they need it. Send all the stuff they need at the moment. Question again, would you let any fr anybody from across seas come into America? Across what? Across cross you. If they come here legally, yes. Mm, I would not let anyone in here, especially if they are from ISIS, because they would destroy everything. That same thing, I won't let ISIS. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? What if they're trying to escape from their house? Like, if they're ISIS shoot people, them down. no. But if they're people that are not ISIS... But what if, like, there's an... Okay. Like, the immigration to yeah. Germany? Those people, yeah, I'll let them in, but if they're people that are actual ISIS, terrorist people, like, not stereotypically, but actual terrorists and stuff like that, I would not let them in because they're going to just hurt people. If they're actual terrorists. What if it was a family from ISIS that did, what weren't safe in ISIS? Would you let them in? Yeah. No. What do you mean by... I would shoot them all down. 
if they, if you guys are just making no sense, if they're, if they're ISIS, they're going to kill us. Yeah, but if they're ISIS, that means they're ISIS terrorists. But what if they're not? What if they? If they're escaping ISIS, I'll let them in. That's, That's what, what we were mean. trying to ask you. Then that makes no sense. You're saying, would you let ISIS in? Basically terrorists. All right, next question. I would, well, already, I wouldn't let anyone in because I would make... We didn't even ask you a question. I don't care. I'm responding <laughs> to the other question. I would make okay. every, all around the United States, as secure as Area 51. So anyone that crosses the line or goes out will get blown up. Blown up or shot down? Or both? Uh, one, if they make it past the blown up, then then there would be auto semi-automatic rifles that, I mean not rifles, uh, shotguns that automatically come out and shoot everybody. Alright, you can ask him a question. Okay, um, I have a question for both of you. How would you feel about taking away taxes entirely? I would not do that because nobody, w the presidents would get no money and they would become hobos. <laughs> Okay. Taxes are for the military. If you get real taxes, you can't support the military. So I would just keep taxes how they are. I would raise them by 15%. Would you raise taxes? If the military is not getting enough equipment or strong enough equipment, yes. So all you're caring is about the military? Not um, just that, the people. What about the, the people who um, don't have enough money and they're a family, but they don't have enough money to have a safe home. Would you make them play, pay taxes? Yes, I'd make them pay a lot more. Um, I won't make them pay taxes until they can pay taxes. Okay, so would you, would you, the president, well, if you were to become, if you were to become both, this question for both of you, would you go over to ISIS? I mean, go find them. Ooh. Would you start a war? Yeah, with ISIS. Um, I was just to say. Well, ISIS are terrorists. They're attacking people that are innocent. So I would stop ISIS because they're not nice people. They're trying to kill people. Yeah, basically, what U.S. is doing right now, trying to stop them. I would let them do anything and just make sure they don't come in America. I don't care if they attack our allies. What would you do about the airports if they sneak in, like, the terrorist attack 9-11? Basically another 9-11? Yeah. Find who, like, But, like, find what them. would you do about the airport security? Would you... I would increase it a little bit. Don't know how. I'll find out. <laughs> I would make sure only Americans and, uh, people are allowed in airports. What if, um... What was that? Ah! The paparazzi. <laughs> no! Camera! Hey! <laughs> okay. Mm. Um, what if it, what if a person was get, trying to get into America um, from a different place, but they were only half American? Like, their father was one, uh, one thing and their mother was American. Well, that's okay. They're, it's, they're, they're American slash Mexican or whatever. Even if you're just fully Mexican or half something else, you're allowed to come in. I'm right, not like it, him. Um, <laughs> what would you do about that? If it was illegally, I would shoot them down. And if it was legal, I would make them pay 10% more taxes than everybody else. And I would only allow them to live in. The legally part. <laughs> and I, they would have to only buy stuff with two times as much money. Alright, this is about another... They are not allowed to be a normal citizen. Okay, when you become the president, well, when, well, either you do, if you do. So, uh, what would you do about the clown incident? Do you believe in that or not? Clown incident? The one where there's clowns going around yes. scaring people? Yes, what would you do about that? Stop them? Yeah, but it's like It's scaring how? innocent what, people. What if how? you couldn't find them? Yeah, like how? Would you go how would make you a trap? Would you, um, like, how would you get them in? Um, um, multiplying the security to Probably find not. them. Uh, I'm talking. You shouldn't uh, interrupt me. Um, I would definitely make clown masks, clown out uniforms or costumes, fifty percent off, and make everybody that works at McDonald's wear one. And then my father was killed by a clown then at I, McDonald's. Then I would make it uh, more legal, and anyone who does it will get to be. Um, they will get. 
they won't have to pay taxes. And if they scare babies, they won't have to pay anything at all. Would you replace they get Ronald everything McDonald? for free. Ronald McDonald, yes, he's the one that killed him. No, With his I little would. squishy nose, stuffed it down his throat. Would um, you kill him? No, I would kill. I would save him. He was a perfectly innocent clown, and I would make McDonald's use more fat and sh grease in their food. I'll shove all that down your throat. <laughs> See, that's a threat. You're breaking the law. <laughs> okay, you we're about. Threat that votes. can actually happen. You can't going... threaten me. Okay, okay. Right. Uh, we're about out of time. So... I don't care. We need to continue this debate. So, no, I don't. So, I why don't we just say our last statements and then. Yeah. Okay. What's your last statement? Uh. Squidward is. Squidward approves this message. Okay. Hey, um. Make, make America the Fat. America that you're supposed to, that's supposed to be. Ooh, you have copied Donald Trump. Right. What? You just copied him. I make America how it's supposed to be. It's not. This is not how America is supposed right. to be. All right. That's all we got. All right. We're this is all the time we've got. Uh, I hope you have a nice day. Have a good afternoon. America. Bye. Bye. Is it over? <laughs> just I don't know. Stare at the camera. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> we finished it? Yeah, we're done. Okay. <laughs>